Hi, my name is Casey Wernley, and I am executive director and co-founder of Kinetic Kids. Really Tracy Fontenot and I are physical therapists. We worked in a pediatric children's hospital, and in 2001, we came to the conclusion that there were just no other sports programs for children with special needs that were attending outpatient physical therapy. So we decided to start a t-ball team, and we had 12 children come out and um, participate playing t-ball. Their parents got to sit and watch them um, bat and field and run the bases for the first time and after that first year we realized that, that our goal of them being physically active was just nothing in comparison to the other benefits they received like self-esteem and confidence and the friendships they formed. So it took us about two years to get our nonprofit status, but in 2003 we were able to become a nonprofit organization. Named, we named ourselves Kinetic Kids and we uh, set together a board of directors. And um, then we started offering just programs each year and, and doubling and tripling. In 2003 we grew to serve about 65 people and, or children and uh, provided programs in t-ball, dance, gymnastics, and art. One of the other benefits of Kinetic Kids is that we have therapists out that help them um, be safe and successful. These are children that have gone through surgeries and ha you know having to go to doctor appointments and therapy appointments all their life and so the last thing we want them to do is come out here and get hurt. So having therapists out here has just been such a blessing for not only our organization but for the parents because they know that we are modifying and we are making sure that the activities they're children are performing are safe and then by having the therapist input we can make the child as successful as they can be. Many times as physical therapists we're always focusing on the things that the children cannot do like don't walk with your knees bent or sit up straight you know quit slouching but out here at Kinetic Kids we really try hard to tell tell children what we are proud of them for what they're able to do you know how well they ran in the race how well they did their gymnastics routine so this is their opportunity to shine and do the best they can do in the body they were given and I am actually one of the original Kinetic Kids um, I have cerebral palsy I am a triplegic uh, which means that I cannot I cannot use my left hand, and I can, I can use my legs, but I just can't walk. Um, I am I'm just so blessed for this program. It's been a lot to all of us. I play wheelchair basketball. I uh, I am a I'm a 16th time national record holder. I am also an athlete of the year, and I am also a motivational speaker for those with physical disabilities. So I go outside and I go. I go to schools um, in the district for the thing that is called Discovering Disabilities Day. And so I, uh, I go out there and I talk to kids about them and I educate them. I started off with Kinetic Kids whenever I came to the Health Science Center for Physical Therapy School. Um, I became a volunteer, then I became a coach, and now I'm a program director. One of the things that I love most about Kinetic Kids is it just allows kids to actually be athletes and compete. Kinetic Kids is a fantastic organization. It has allowed my daughter to do so many things that really we didn't know that she would be able to do. She has gained so much confidence through participation in the various activities. She's done all kinds of things. She's done dance and gymnastics and basketball and track and field and music, musical theater, just all kinds of things just to kind of see what best fits for her. I love track and field, basketball, and tennis, and I also like to play computer games. I'm kind of a geek because I play The Sims a lot, which is a simulator game. Um, my computer has died, so I'm, I'm, I'm getting it for the Xbox 360, so I'm like, okay. <laughs> my passion is kind of cooking and singing. Those two are like my personality. I have like the generosity and the awesome things that I love. Like I just love everything. I love to swing and have fun. And I love smiling every day.
Hi, okay, hi, I'm Julie Ring, and I'm a board member for Kinetic Kids, and I love serving on the board. Um, I love the work that we do for the kids here in San Antonio. Um, and in fact, one of my own children is a Kinetic Kid, and um, and he loves the programs he's, he's been in. Um, it gives him confidence, it gives him the ability to be competitive, it kind of brings out that competitive spirit in him. And, um, and today he's at a track meet running, so he's super proud and we are super proud of him. Um, but you know, I can't say enough about the organization and, and what it does for our kids. It, it really makes them <laughs> feel important and special and inclusive. Hi, I'm Evan Wing and I like to run and do baseball and sing all day. All day? I like Kinetic Kids because they help us be good at stuff. They help you get, get good, good at stuff. It's get right. good at stuff. Hi, I'm Olivia Ring, and my brother had a stroke when he was little, so his right side. Um, is um, his, so it blocked off his left brain, so his right side is like he can't use it that well. But Kinetic Kids helps, and I'm just gonna tell you about myself. I like singing, dancing, and acting. And Evan sings with me sometimes at home, and <laughs> not at act, my acting camp, but not he only sings with me at home. My name is Rhea and I like to play and sing and play my and I love my boyfriend and I, and I like to play with Jingma and talk to Jingma and, and deal with Shadas and talk to mommy and my favorite color is pink and purple and I also like to give big hugs and do a present and also kiss. Nicholas is with me full time. Uh, he does several sports. He does track and field for sure. Uh, this year we did baseball, we did basketball, and we also did swimming. So we're expanding our kinetic kids involvement because he has a communication difficulty because of a jaw problem. Uh, he isn't afraid to talk to these guys. At school, he's afraid to talk to kids. Kids talk to him and they're like, what's wrong with him? Why can't he talk back? But with kinetic kids, he doesn't have to worry about that because there are other kids that are just like him. So, um, we're gonna continue as long as kinetic kids will have us. We're gonna continue. And we're gonna try different things. So, in closing, this is the best thing that has ever happened to us and to him. <laughs>